a war which seems to create more controversy by the day. Allegations of possible Israeli war crimes during the war on Gaza are nothing new. But the call to investigate and, if needs be, prosecute South African citizens involved in the war may come as a surprise. There's always been rumors uh, within the, the community in South Africa that local South African citizens fight in the IDF. So within the community you would attend mass meetings, for example, and you would have spokespersons uh, giving you a story that they were interrogated by a soldier at the border point or in Jerusalem, and that soldier spoke Afrikaans. Firoz Boda is a Johannesburg-based lawyer working on behalf of two local pro-Palestinian organizations. He's collected over 3,500 pages in the Gaza docket, which he has presented to South Africa's police and National Prosecution Authority. It relies heavily on the testimonies of the UN, human rights groups who studied the aftermath of the war, journalists who were on the ground and doctors who treated the wounded. Hundreds of pages feature the suspected aftermath of the use of white phosphorus on civilians, eyewitness accounts of civilian casualties and UN schools hit by Israel during the war. But were South African citizens involved? We've identified about 75 South Africans who we believe served in the IDF at one point or the other. We believe that there is prima facie evidence against all of them. Firoz and the lawyers say some of their evidence can be found online, on easily accessible public profiles, on social networking sites like Facebook. I decided to have a look. Going online and logging on to Facebook myself, it didn't take me very long to come across South Africans fighting for the Israeli army. One in particular, a male from Johannesburg, aged 23, who quite clearly placed himself through his vast array of photo albums in the Gaza war fighting for the Israeli army in January 2009. Some of the photographs were quite revealing. One in particular has him holding Israeli bombs captioned, these are presents for the residents of Gaza. Some pictures of Gaza, as seen from the outside, have the date registered, placing the person who took this in the area at the time of Israel's Operation Cast Lead. South Africa, as a signatory to the Rome Statute, could theoretically arrest and prosecute these individuals for alleged war crimes and crimes against humanity. But even if that can't be proven, South African law forbids any citizen from fighting for a foreign force without express government permission. Also a target for the lawyers is South African-born Lieutenant Colonel David Benjamin. He served as a legal advisor in the Israeli Military Advocates Corps during the war. Chief ICC Prosecutor Luis Moreno Ocampo has signaled he too is keen to investigate Benjamin. Firoz Boda cites the report by fellow South African, Judge Richard Goldston, as a vindication that he's on the right track. And he's also secured former UN Special Rapporteur for Human Rights, John Dugard, as legal counsel. The influential South African group, the Jewish Board of Deputies, told Al Jazeera, while we believe that the Gaza docket has no merit, we are investigating this further and will provide more comment as soon as we have done so. For a war which took place on a tiny, densely populated strip of land, its fallout could be debated and battled in courtrooms in countries thousands of kilometers away. Imran Garda, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.